I am not flexible. What? It, so are you saying you're trying to fight off middle age? I'm trying to fight off the nursing home is what I'm trying to do. Yeah, this has turned into like a sexy stretching session. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I want to talk to you about stretching. If you're like me, you get really, really sore and tight from all the activities that you do, or maybe from all the inactivity that you do. I'll tell you between mountain biking, cycling, running, keeping up with the kids, taking care of the house, gardening, and sitting in my desk for endless hours a day, I get really, really tight. And my problem areas are my shoulders, my hip flexors, my IT bands that kind of run along the backside of my leg here. I just am getting more and more immobile if I don't take care of myself. So today I want to show you a little bit of the stretching routine that I do at home. I have to do this about two to three times a week just to fight off the nursing home, if you will. I just need to try to stay mobile. This is essentially all I have for right now for this stretching routine. So I'm going to show you today my dynamic stretching routine based off of the TRX bands. I'm going to start with the bands just about waist level and I'm just going to stretch that lower back by getting kind of in a deadlift position and just reaching out. The beautiful thing with TRX bands is you can change the intensity by walking your legs in and out. And honestly, with stretching with TRX, you just kind of have to move around until you feel the stretch in the spot that you want. So that's the first one. From this position, you can move into kind of a swimmer's move, right? Where you kind of start from one arm to the next. And if you do this right, you can kind of use your knees to go from side to side and really feel that stretch all the way from your shoulder through your hamstring here. From there, I can even go into kind of a, a split and do that same thing and just reach out. And I should be feeling this one right there kind of between my legs, in that nice interior hamstring area and into the groin muscle. From there, I like to go into a high reach where I just Kind of reach up to the sky as much as I can and just maybe go from side to side as I stretch everything across the front of the body right there all the way through the midsection the core just trying to get the, everything there opened up nice from there I like to go into a runner's lunge and I can do this with my arms extended like this or if my arms kind of bent like this and kind of a flex position. What I'm trying to do is not put my knee past my toe or past my ankle even, get a good stretch here, but actually if I have my back leg straight really good, I get a good hip flexor stretch on the opposite side. So I stay there and hold that one. A variation on this is once I get to that position, I can start to turn over my knee. And as I turn over my knee and I balance myself even a little bit further out on this left arm, is I start to feel a stretch right on my IT band around the back side of my hip and into my knee here. And then I switch to the other side. Hold that one for a second. Lean over to the other side. From here, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to face my anchor and I'm going to go into a figure four. And I'm just going to put that foot over my knee and just have to sit back and use your arms to take the weight on and off as you need to. And switch to the other side. And just feel that good stretch right there around that IT band. So this is really just trying to, as I do that, I'm going to stretch all the way from about here around into that knee. This is where I really like to get into that IT band area. And this is that muscle just kind of runs along that back side, right? What I do is I flip my foot around the back side behind and I kind of just let my hip fall until I'm, and I kind of turn my hip as I need to, to get that stretch in the right spot. From there I can go into a runner's lunge, or I can come back. The nice thing 
about the TRX bands is they keep me from having to put that front knee over top of my ankle too far. So it really doesn't put any stress on my knees to do this. And I'm just trying to open up those hips nice and wide. The next one is an oblique stretch. You call those obliques? I call them obliques. And for this one, I'm gonna put my feet kind of in front of each other, facing this way. And then I'm gonna turn my body and face the anchor point. And just let my hips drop. Just hold that one. And this is really gonna stretch from the back side of my shoulder all the way down through that hip flexor into those obliques. So, Alright, my next stretch, I'm going to grab the loops of the TRX bands behind my back and I'm going to gently pull that shoulder back behind myself. And if I want to make this even a little bit stronger, I can pull my neck that direction. To really get an extra stretch on that shoulder and neck. One of the last stretches I like to do is grab the TRX bands behind my back and just let that band, as I walk forward, pull those shoulders up and to the back. And if I'm good, I turn my thumbs down. Now this next one is a little bit more advanced. I start facing the anchor this way and I just turn sideways, kind of pivoting on my right foot when I turn to the right. And then I can come down and go the opposite direction. Finally, one of the last stretches that I do is a, it's almost like a back bend type of stretch. Once again, do this one cautiously, but you can hold your body kind of like this and just, you can start up here as high as you need to and just kind of throw your hips out. If you need it more difficult, walk your feet back. And now it really just starts to warm up that lower back and stretches those hip flexors nicely. Now you don't need bands to do many of these stretches, but I like them because it helps me get a little bit better stretch. This one's kind of nice. This is just the regular quad kind of runner's quad stretch, but you just grab that behind you and pull a little bit harder until it stretches that quad. And the more you lean forward, the more you'll also stretch all the way through your hip flexors. And those are most of my stretches on the TRX bands. Now I will tell you, I tried to show my wife how to do all these stretches and most of them didn't do much for her. I'm really get a full stretch in here still. Now, you'll get any stretch in here? Zero, zero. It's all in the glutes, glutes IT band hamstring. These may be better stretches for guys than girls. <laughs> no, I'm... So it just shows you I am an inflexible oaf, okay? So if you sit at a desk or if you're really active and you get really, really tight muscles, especially through the midsection, these might really, really help you. This full body stretch can be used as a warm up or as a cool down. As a warm up, I do about two to five seconds and I do about three to five rounds on each stretch. If you're doing this as a cool down, I recommend holding each stretch for roughly 20 to 60 seconds, depending on how flexible you are. Now remember, when stretching, if it hurts too much, you're doing it wrong or you're doing too much. Anyway, if you guys wanna pick up a pair of TRX bands, really consider it. This is my morning stretching routine. I do about two to three times a week, maybe one time a week, depending on the week and how consistent I get. Remember, consistency over intensity, so just take it nice and easy. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you like this video. We'll see you next time.